Hello. Someone's trying to reach us, and I think it's important because they keep on calling. So let's pick up, and then let's see what's gonna happen. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Oh, hey, we're getting compliments on a job. Well done. Alpha Labs administration join up with Bravo team in Alpha Labs. Go through administration for entry into the Alpha Labs sector. I'm expecting the whole um, Bravo team to be fucking murked already. Oh, hey, that's broken. I don't know which way I'm going. Maybe we'll find the directions on the wall. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, so last time I said uh, I played Darksiders 3 on hard and also the game gives you an option to either pick the default combat style uh, that they designed specifically for this game which clearly is the one heavily influenced by a Dark Souls series which I went for because that's their vision. That's how they wanted the game to be played. That's what they expected. That's where the difficulty lies, so of course I went for that. Uh, and the other was classic, which I think was supposed to mimic... ...be more like in line with uh, the first and second game, where it's more hack and slash and arcadey maybe the word is. Oh, that must... Uh, the, the we got uh, credentials uploaded to our PDA, so that must open that and that would clear us for the... For the, for the forward, for the forward, yep. And this guy's still on fire. That, that that didn't stop. Which is weird, considering that bodies don't burn too well. Because uh, they're uh, made of water. Well, made of. There's a lot of water in bodies. So, uh, that's not easy. I'm gonna go grab this one. Because I don't think we're gonna come back here anytime soon. So, fuck that. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's still medicine in uh, the panel somewhere on the door there. I think. So, we're going... So I obviously went with the default as opposed to classic, because uh, that's when they were it. That's the uh, author's vision. Why wouldn't you want to experience it how they wanted you to experience it? Like, you'll have the option to go essentially renege, go do it again. Though the, the game has a uh, New Game Plus mode, which, would, uh, which allows you to just uh, play everything again with all your upgrades and everything you bought. Oh right, also I, I changed um, key, key bindings, where one is uh, the pistol now. Oh shit, that, that can't be good. Instead of bare fists, that will get us in the groove more, I think. There we go. We're low on pistol ammo, but we also don't care about pistol ammo. Oh hey, there we go. That's who I heard. Go die. Right. And also I recently, since I talked about, uh, hey, more, well... That's already picked up, that's too late. Um, I talked about difficulty and I talked about uh, not going to play every game that I played already, again, but on, but on harder mode. I said that, and then I went back to Blitz through Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy. Both of playthroughs available on my channel. Not, that, not the new ones, but the previous ones. Uh, and I said it on hard and again, it wasn't that difficult. As expected. Um, fortunately, armor shards are very... Hey, this guy has a flashlight too. In case our run out of batteries. You can swing that too, I think. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Use them? What do you mean? Oh yeah, we, we've seen that. What do you mean use them? They're autonomous, they'll just do whatever. Oh, there's two of them all at once. The difficulty has spiked, guys. Talking about difficulties. Dodge bullets. Good thing there's still more armor and health to pick up. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. Like 15 armor and 15 health really. 50-50. No. Right, so we've got another one here. Good, cool. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher is out of order. No! That's the best game. And we can't even open the, the windows anymore. You know, for horror. If it's dark, then it's scary. Um yeah, so I blitzed through those on hard. They, it wasn't that difficult. But 
what I've noticed, like it really hit me. I guess it's 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 not that unnoticeable. It's not to my credit that I have. Um, what do we want to go with SMG? I guess. Um, as you can see, I'm quick saving often too. The UAC is here oh. to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Right. Good armor, but that looks like bait. Also, uh, there's what? Oh shit! Hey. A bit spooky, especially since I wasn't looking. Go away. I wasn't looking at the mirror and they, you know, jump scares, yep. We're firmly in the territory of horror games. That's what makes it scary, otherwise you'd be just blitzing it and acting like it's Doom 4 or Doom Ether Eternal. We don't want that, right, so that's big and also not needed right now. Armor, that's fine. Maybe I'll remember to come back here if I, if I need to. Uh, where did we come from? From here, right? Because that's the kitchen. All right. So I'm quick saving. And what I've noticed is, it's such a different experience between now and then when it comes to gaming. And I guess a part of it, I think there is a sentry. Uh, yeah. There is a sentry, but we're just doing more than it. Supposedly it's packing a lot of fiber. Yeah, now use it. It will lead us wherever, it will do whatever it wants. What do you mean, we should use it? We just, we just, like, you know, like... Should we just stick around? Obviously, yes, but... I don't think the point is just... Uh, that's how that's how far using it goes, just being around it. Um, this is the way we came from, okay. When we landed, and I wanted to say, I wondered if we can just go back to hangar and hop on back onto the Dark Star and leave, but I'm pretty sure the doors are gonna be locked and unoperable and that's the only thing that stops us from getting out. Can we get uh, Sergeant Kelly to open the door and we, could we just leave? Do we really care? I'd rather abandon post. Yeah. So, um... You gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending the transmission is critical to our survival. They'll be fine, and if they won't be, then they didn't deserve to be a marine. They're probably outranking me as well. Fuck them. I'm not taking orders from people who outrank me. <laughs> I don't take orders from people who don't outrank me, or like beneath me, below me at least. <laughs> Either, but the principle stands. I, j I just generally don't take orders. I'm not in military for a reason. Oh hey, the sentry is doing fine. We can save even more ammo by letting the sentry do everything. I don't even think that they are destructible, as in they can be destroyed. Yeah, j joke on the game. Um, the difference, the big difference is... I hit quick save, and I've got the game saved, and I... I already don't remember how quickly does the game load from this state. Ah, now there's two of them, and I have to... Kinda care. Ah, another guy. I'm using the sentry. That's totally something I'm actively performing. This is a function that I do. Oh, hey, another guy. I'm really pressing hard on those mouse buttons. That lowers my effectiveness when it comes to aiming. I'm really stiff when it comes to that. Well, oh well, we're doing fine. Um, there we go. The big difference is I'm hitting quick save. <laughs> I'll get through it eventually. I'm hitting quick save and I, when I hit quick load, it kicks me right back into the action. So whenever I was like low on health, low on resources, low on ammo in Jedi Knight games, and pretty much here as well, all I, can, all I have to do is quick save, try my best, and then if I fail, just immediately quick load. And it just loads almost instantly. Like, I guess the part of it, a part of it, is the modern hardware where those games are old, these games are old, and the data they need to load is not... There's not a lot of it, so it doesn't take long to for the game to load, but also processing is faster too, so it's double fast compared to all the modern gaming where, for instance, man, it's going still. I'm actively using the sentry, totally. Uh, right, I don't have that yet. Yet. Um, but like, compared to modern gaming, like for instance, um, Doom Eternal, that I played recently, that doesn't go on quick saves, that doesn't even go on manual saves. Go on sentry, you've got this. It's probably already one. Oh, hey. 
it just stopped right here, huh? You can't. Die already. There's another one coming. Ooh, he coming. Can you die yet? Is the damage dropping off uh, with distance that much as well? Good thing I'm picking up SMG as well, because we started with like 480 runs and then now we're barely cruising around 200 in in reserve. Because, you know, per shot is terrible. It, the only benefit is that it's shooting uh, quick and a lot. So in, in Doom Eternal, definitely visible where th there are no manual saves, there are no quick saves. This, again, Doom 3 came out on Xbox as well. And it had like a dedicated save uh, button to bring up a menu to make a save wherever you want. So consoles are capable of doing that. It's not just PC Master Race. But everyone decided to not do that anymore. Because then I guess it's, it'll be less difficult. I'm looking at you right here, uh, Dark Souls, from software altogether. Everyone started developing it on consoles, clearly. Um, but... So yeah, in Doom Eternal... How, am I, how, how will I be able to not pick up the med kit? Because it's not that necessary. Armor shard. Five more. There we go. Perfect. We'll be fine without those knights. Oh, hey. Me, uh, data pad. That's important. Duncan Matthews. We're going to go over this very soon. Uh, so, there are checkpoints. The only system is checkpoints. And, you know, they, they try to be gracious or reasonable. Oh, good thing I didn't break my legs. Uh, or reasonable, where uh, when it comes to when some sort of a combat encounter is uh, getting close, you're getting close to some combat en encounter, they're gonna give you a checkpoint right here, so the walk up is not gonna be long. But then, if, if you're fighting the hordes of whatever, the enemies, uh, and you end up uh, dying, then you have to repeat all of it. But if you're confident that whatever you've done so far went well, you didn't use a lot of resources, you can hit that quick save and start the next wave from right here. Instead, in Doom Eternal, of course, if you fail the wave, they'll kick you back all the way back to the checkpoint. And you have to walk all the way to the area and then fight both waves at once. Like I said, in, in, Jedi, in, uh, in Jedi Knight series, if I feel like I've got 3, 7, 11, uh, 17 hit points, I get a quick save, I try to do my best. If I fail, I reload right now, I get right back into it, and it goes so much faster. I'm not doing any bo boss runs to get right back in there. If I feel like I'm 10 steps too far away from where the battle starts, I make those, I take those 10 steps, quick save again, and I'm 10 steps closer to the action right away if I fail. Quick load, back into the action. Now everything's on checkpoint and I hate it. Um, maybe data part first. So we've got Duncan. Uh, user data. No audio logs. User email then. Ray Gerhardt. Receiving the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been over this. This is like a default uh, copy-paste message from a guy who got forcefully volunteered, I, I suspect, to get teleported. What about UAC security equipment request? We understand the uh, pressures and concerns of civilians in Mars City. I want to assure you that there is nothing to worry about, other than 30 to 40 percent psychological cases. We in UAC security have everything under control. I've left the armor you requested on your desk. I hope this helps you sleep a bit easier. We will not be able to fulfill your request for a plasma gun at this time. I would like to take this opportunity. Nuking is now legal, is it? Isn't it? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that civilians are not allowed the possessions of weapons. The possession of weapons. If you ask again, I will have no choice but to report you to UACHR. If you do happen to find equipment, it is your duty to return it to UAC security immediately. Please uh, requisition to my department armor and one plasma gun with ammo. Uh, with all that has been happening around here, I don't feel safe. I haven't been able to sleep and it has been difficult to work. If it would be easier, I could always just help myself to some of the armor I've seen security leave carelessly around the base. So he got the uh, armor. What, what does he say? Myself to some of the armor. They leave armor around? Like maybe the armor shards, but I wouldn't call that armor because you have to put it into some in something, right? Even we have uh, plate carriers. 
like the vest where you put the armor plating in because you won't just put it on and it will stick like one of the one of the things that happen in gaming that i don't like is they decide oh your character is gonna be cool and have their sword on the back and or their weapon and there's nothing holding it there it just sticks to their back magnetically magically or on sweat it's the dumbest i hate it it, it looks kind of cool but it's the coolness is immediately ruined when you notice that it can't work there's nothing holding it there. No one bothers to give it a fucking sheath or something. Or scabbard, whatever it is. Um, I would always help myself. So he finds ballistic armor laying around. Not armor shards, I guess. I guess at least that's how I interpret it. The entire fucking vest with all the plates already in it. And they tell, the, they tell him, if you find anything, you should return it. And I take it. Wink wink nudge nudge if you find a pistol don't tell anyone if you want if you want a gun that's how you're gonna get it But we're not gonna give you a plasma rifle. I mean they didn't give us a plasma rifle did they? No, they didn't um, Have we got everything here 584? I'm gonna forget about uh, did we use yeah, yeah, we, we did use that in the checkpoint there. Okay, it's fine So lift that's all we've got left to do All right and what will where will that take us? Administration. Uh, the administration facility is the corporate presence on Mars. Union, Union Aerospace executives located in the upper level. Oh, I didn't even. Well, oh well. And game saves as well. Auto save. That's important, j just in case you do forget. situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Bro, what's in a box? What's in a box? The other reference would be what's in the briefcase in from Pulp Fiction, right? So that's broken altogether. Um, health. Oh, is that new? I gotta say, the, uh, the design for the ships are unique. They're interesting. Like bulbous and like tall rather than wide. Uh, they're sort of like fish, like puffer fish. Oh, hey. Sit back down. No one asked you. Down you go. As Karth would say. Uh, oh, clip. Well, that's fine. I'll take it, one way or another. 240 is in the max, is it? Oh, hey, more ammo. Clip. Yeah, there is not. Okay, we keep going. Well, Alpha Labs is the research and development... Uh, on top of research and development for the teleportation. Um... Uh-huh, a guy's talking. And I think there is also an imp here, judging by the breathing of an imp. Also, yeah, Swan, the thing that he was sitting at and talking to Betruger, you know those phones, the mobile phones from the 80s, like how they, how they were as big as a brick? It's like this for video calls. It's like even worse, even worse than CRT monitor for your favorite video call platform over the internet. Like, ridiculous. I mean... Is this like a retro-futuristic thing? Where, you know, it's a new technology, but it's giant and bulky anyway, and, and now it's the regular futuristic when your f uh, screen is flat and your phone is as big as your hand, and you've got the same functionality, but also mobile and, and better altogether. Probably with faster uh, transfer speeds. Also, remember when video calls were supposed to catch on and they didn't? People are talking about FaceTime, but... I'm not talking about FaceTime, I don't have an iPhone. Are you talking about FaceTime? Are you using first FaceTime? Are you using Face for FaceTime? Yeah. Oh. The wheezing of that little fan is ridiculous. It sounds like there is like one one piece on a, on a string there. Well, oh, there's a lot to pick up. So, we've got a PDA of Alan 
Dorweiler or Dorweiler, like the dog. Full on armor, we can give it one click here. Oh. Oh. Okay, dude. He was swinging wide already. So we got research and development for research and development. At least they're all self-contained, huh? We're gonna get the code for here. All oh, right. Um. So the. So Swan and his him talking. Um. Yeah, Betruger is not gonna stop him. We're gonna stop Betruger. I don't know if Swan is gonna survive that. Um. But what's in the briefcase? BFG. I'm pretty sure, of course. And that's the only thing that I worry about. Uh, I'm gonna find like 80%, 90% of everything that 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 there is to find. Uh, but what I'm worried about the most is to find the code and uh, uh, the door that the code goes into to get the BFG because that would have been kind of shitty. I hope I won't miss it. We will make it without it anyway. But I wish I wish I I don't I, I wish I won't miss it. So uh, that's not an activatable screen. Uh, armor shards. I guess we're gonna go through the data pattern. That's gonna be it for today. So. Look, look down below the player again. It should light up with RGB colors about how you should subscribe and like the video and interact with every other video on my channel, preferably by watching and sharing it with your friends. Um, meanwhile, to close it off, it's Alan Dorweiler. No audio logs. Um, isn't person armaments in the cabinet? Oh, so that will be it, I'm pretty sure. Alan, per our earlier conversation, I've stocked the storage cabinet in your... That's similar code to the previous one, that's like two off, I think? Cabinet in your area with some... In your area! <laughs> that's funny. With some ammunition and security armor. The door clo code is 586. I don't know what's going on around here, but we can't be too careful. They died anyway. I hope to God we never have to use that stuff. If I hear anything else, I'll send em I'll email you, Ethan. Right, so uh, yeah, what good is a weapon or an armor that you left at home? It's not. You left it... Like, this is like an industry altogether. When you want to keep your weapon protected from when your kids are at home and they decide to grab it and shoot themselves in the head. Um, and you, when uh, a robber <laughs> of a certain skin complexion and color... <laughs> gets into your house and you need to grab that and get it in in operation quickly instead of fumbling with keys and codes so that's an industry and I, I don't, know, don't have kids i don't know <laughs> hide it better from the kids um 586 let's try to knock it off right away before i forget 586 oh no it's not that 586 i clicked four that might have been the problem so We've picked up grenades, finally. Five of them. What's in here? Clips. Which are, of course, magazines. Um, I don't think we're going to be using much... How How is our shotgun? 170 rounds. We're pretty good on that. Uh, I don't think we're going to be throwing many grenades. Because they're just... It's going to just be out of the way. Um, and the other things. UAC Corporate. Alan, I heard that UAC Corporate is sending someone up here to check on Betruger. His name is Elliot Swan. Oh, it's spelled with double N, right? Because it's a last name, it has to be distinct than, than just a noun, right? I don't know who he is, but John said he's a real ball buster. He said that he always travels with a bodyguard. This can't be a good situation. So is he a bodyguard or a marine? Are we a bodyguard or a marine? Are we PMC? What's going on? Why are, why are we working for a corporation if we are a regular army? Uh, I hope this swan guy doesn't shut us down. No, no it, <laughs> you ended up being shut, shut down by something else, yes. We are so close to solving the stability problems and the transfer errors are exceptionally low now. But the base is falling apart because your power demand is uh, through the roof. I'll keep you posted if anything goes down, Ethan. Right. Uh, Mr. Dorweiler. On life pharmacy, no doctor visit needed. Is, is this like a pamphlet? Lightspeed pharmacy? <laughs> Uh, Martian buddy, is that going to be about dick enlargement? We believe that ordering medication should be as simple as ordering anything else on the net. We can ship drugs anywhere in the galaxy. That a bit. That's too many uh, dots. Periods in your ellipses. Embargoes, banned pharmaceuticals, no problem. Go to www.martianbuddy.com for my for my details. 
not more details, go to this one word. You should go to martianbuddy.com, by the way. I don't know if the... F I wonder if it would be a fake uh, website that's maintained for the purposes of this game, or no longer, or, or that wasn't a plan ever. And there's a video that we've picked up, right? It's gonna be... Series 3, Mars uh, Marine Command Briefing, Alpha Labs, Introduction. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the Prime Science and Research Facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading-edge technology, such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocar, and Molecular Fuel Storage Compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much-needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. 35 years in the making. Fucking 35 years of building. That's quite a few years. Unbelievable. I, I, it's quite unbelievable. Like, how long does it take to build a skyscraper? A few weeks. And it's not gonna be worse because it's on Mars. It might be even easier because it's easier to lift because there's less gravity. And it's the future. Uh, looking for an adventure for circumcision. Right. We've read all this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Right. So, um, we probably picked up credential for, for this door. And of course, um, if you don't like the content, that it's entirely your fault. So, we've got a door here. Alpha Labs and general access. Oh, shit. It's like the worst thing is that you can't really dodge an imp, I don't think. You don't have this the movement speed. You can sprint sideways. Yes, I, you can. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough. I don't, th I, I don't, hear, I don't think you've got that much ability to avoid him. Because he can cover a lot of distance very quickly and you're in narrow corridors too. So, um, maybe let's try, since this is locked, maybe we'll... Oh, so that explains it. So, that way. Right. Next time, I'm pretty sure I'm going to gripe about D&D some more. Because I'm having experiences with a guy that shouldn't be doing this. Like, he's too stupid to run D&D, you know. Like, the biggest gripe, maybe I'll, uh, a little bit of a... Oh. oh, and he broke the windows as well. Oh, that's interesting. And had run away somewhere. Well, shit. Like, let me just, let me just tease you with saying... Um, if you don't have time to put in enough work for the players to enjoy it, and you're just making it up as you go along, maybe you just don't have time for D&D, and you shouldn't be doing this. People say, no D&D is better than bad D&D, so maybe... Maybe I should have quit, but there's a world to burn, so let's see you next time.